Welcome to opening night of the NBA, your second game of a TNT doubleheader. This is the last opening night for TNT. Los Angeles Lakers versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. History is on the way, ladies and gentlemen, as LeBron James is about to play a professional basketball game with his son. But for now, I do want to make sure we highlight the team in white, Minnesota Timberwolves, fresh off of their Western Conference Finals run last year, getting rid of the Suns easily, and then taking care of business against the Denver Nuggets in a tough, gritty, classic of a series in seven Randall, games t wolves and nuggets took it pick. took it there and now three. it's all about that dude right there anthony edwards the official leader of minnesota probably already been that way but now we for sure know he has the responsibility that that guy had for a very long time as lebron james throws down his first deuce of his 22nd season which is something that i do want to talk about in a second as well LeBron James' uh, career and how it may be continuing for a, a, a little longer of a time, maybe a little longer than we thought, as A.E. lines up the three over Rui Achimori. You see what I did there? Uh, the Lakers are up 16-10. Nas Reed's going to get it over to Dante DiVincenzo, who gets it down low to Rudy G. How about Rudy Gobert getting a little bit of new money to kick off this season? Man, has he had a heck of an NBA career, career to not be able to knock down a jump shot. He does all the little things, and Minnesota's rewarding him for his efforts. Speaking of doing all the little things, the big things, Anthony Edwards just does all the things. The Anthony's dominated this game, especially second half, Edwards and Davis. More on them in a second as the kill Alexander Walker nails a three. But Minnesota, though, made a lot of moves this offseason. Y'all know I like this guy a lot as he goes glass for three. Nas Reed, to me, was about 80% of Carl Anthony Towns. T-Wolves clearly agree. They're trading Cat in favor of guys like Nas Reed. And obviously you get Julius Randle and Devin Gentu in the trade. And don't look now, but Minnesota's different, but all in. They're not... Taking a league by Randall. storm this year. Everybody knows that this team is for real as Randall nails the three. We're tied at 26 in a second. We're about to witness some history as D'Angelo Russell swings that thing to Jackson Hayes. is hot and ready like a little Caesars pizza inside. Speaking of rookies, one that's going to play a lot for the Lakers. Dalton Connect getting his first minutes of his professional basketball career. Inside he goes to Jackson Hayes. Dalton about to have him a little stretch here in a second. But first things first, it's LeBron. The crossover on Mike Conley. Old guy to old guy. LeBron crossing up Mike and putting it in. And now here is a down screen. Good action from Hayes. But J.J. Reddick seems to be a lot more committed to playing Jackson Hayes than Darvin Ham ever was. Still had Anthony Davis a lot at the five, like you see right now. As Hayes leaves the game, it's AD back in and Dalton Connect finishing. What a nice stretch for him. He's going to play a lot of minutes for the Lakers. He'll be one of the three, four best players for L.A. by the end of the season. All right, we got white guy action here. Now it's just the white guy portion of the highlight as Arkansas's own Austin Reeves with the steal and the score. Lakers up a bunch. A.E. trying to keep it as close as he can. 13-point game. Minnesota did not play their best. And if I'm being honest, y'all, I watched this game. To be real with you guys, I didn't feel like this game was about the Lakers. I mean, storyline it was. But to me, it was about Minnesota versus Minnesota. We'll talk more about them in a second, but here's your historic moment. Ladies and gentlemen, with four minutes to go in the second quarter, for the first time in NBA history, you are watching a father play a professional basketball game with his son. They just so happen to also be on the same team. As you see the family soaking in the moment. Wifey and now mom of professional athletes. Savannah James soaking in watching her husband and son go to work together. And by the way, Randall immediately went to work at Bronny, who did not score in his first ever NBA game. Uh, but it was just great to see him out there as Gobert throws down the easy juice. Lakers still in full control of this game. And look, you maybe didn't get a bucket from Son, 
But dad's got a lot of buckets. As a matter of fact, more than anybody in NBA history, that was a very loud one from Pops. And, uh, and, and if you're being honest, let's be real. Like, Bronny getting to the NBA is a great accomplishment. But this moment, in large part, is, is, is about the greatness that is LeBron James. For those who were following the NBA Newswire, Sham Sharani, ESPN's new top dog, did report that there's a good chance LeBron Assuming health is on his side, which it has been, plans to give it a go at least two more years, which will send him to at least season 24. And there's a possibility that he'll give it a go three years, which would mean LeBron would play 25 seasons and would give him a chance to, and I can't believe I'm saying this, that would give him a chance to maybe play professional basketball with his second board, which he just saw a few moments ago, Bryce Maximus. And happy born day, Zuri, as well, by the way. Lakers up 17, Dante DiVincenzo. As I watched this game, it felt like he really struggled to kind of find his way on the court, stood in the corner a lot. This was probably his best stretch of the game. He made the three, got it in the Rudy G, but it's rejected by Anthony Davis, who had three big blocks. 36 points, 16 rebounds by AD, who just dominated the second half of this game. And as a guy that watches every minute of my Lakers, I am a big fan. Uh, Darvin Ham really did a poor job of, of giving Anthony Davis the ball in the second half. Did a good job of giving, feeding him in the first, but it was great to see AD very much so involved in the Lakers offense in the, in the second half of this game, even in the fourth quarter, which we hadn't really seen much during the Darvin Ham era, which was short-lived for the Lakers. Uh, yeah, he's gone, and JJ's in now. And JJ's on his way to getting his first win as a head coach as AD helped him get there, just making all type of shots and plays. Nas Reed inside, Gobert. Probably as much scoring I've seen Rudy do. Look, when you get a hundred million more dollars, you gotta at least go out and give me ten, right? Davis. Davis. JJ Reddick obviously is gonna emphasize AD getting a couple more threes a game. Let's see if he can finally make them. Really struggled with his shot over the last few years, really since he's been in LA. As Edwards, uh, he ain't gonna be struggling with his shot for long. That dude is going to be a great three-point shooter when it's all said and done. So by the end of this third quarter, though, there's not Reed scored the bucket. Scores the bucket. Reed at 12. He was got the, the deficit down to eight. They cut it down to six. And sorry, Bronny, your night is over. It's time to bring Dad back in this game and try to see if Dad can put us on those big old broad shoulders one more again. Lakers go back up nine. LeBron and one. Go Bear. How many he have? 13 points, 14 Lakers boards. Another night at the office for Rudy Gobert. Uh oh, that was a big shot. That would have cut it down to one possession. That three from Conley is no good. D Low, who had a very weird game, he was just kind of just out there. Finds LeBron inside. LeBron had a modest 16. Ant Man had 27 30 points but the minnesota AD. Timberwolves for the most part hovered around Edwards. eight points uh, it to the really couldn't Find do much more damage than that. The Jets like that um the they're gonna Edwards. be fine though i don't think Jets. minnesota's gotta Jets. worry about anything a lot of emotions Walker, running in that three. building for the lakers who by the way ain't won an opening game since lebron's been a laker had to deal with the denver and nuggets the last Jets. couple of Jets. opening Jets. nights i think they were just happy to be at home and not be playing Denver, who just LA. destroys them. Alexander Lakers came out with the right energy. I expect Minnesota to respond with great energy uh, in their next couple of games here. Ant-Man really was trying to get his team going, but you had guys like that making plays. A.D., another block. LeBron, Reeves. It's Lakers about to win game one in a historic night. Let's see LeBron and his son, Bronny, play basketball together. By the way, the legend, Ken Groofy Jr. in the house with his dad, who they once played together. Like Charles Barkley said during the TNT broadcast, you got to believe every Nike camera known the man was recording to watch that dude, longevity on full display, a capper of a three. LeBron plays with Bronny. The Lakers do something they ain't done in a while. That's win a game on opening night. 
Congrats to JJ, first game, first win. If you love flexing your sports knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports and win some money while you're at it. That's Underdog. For me, I love the pick em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog website or app. You got to pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that specific game. You get your picks right, and you can win up to 1,000 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use your boy's promo code, which is Faro, your deposit will get matched up to $1,000. It's available to you in bonus cash. You can't beat that. Tap in with Underdog. My promo code is Faro.